Hey folks, it's Rivgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Satisfactory. We're going to go over this way and land on there. I'm going to put a power line onto there and then I'm going to... Uh, join it in. Now, can I join it in over onto that one? I can't quite reach it. Okay, let's go over this way. A little bit of a hop, skip and a jump over to here and I can join it into there. There, we've now got power onto the mining drill. Or we should have. Which means that we should be mining out crystals. Are we mining crystals yet? There we go. We're now mining crystals. Let's go back up here a minute. There. We are now mining crystals. We've got those going into the train station. It's a door direct central. And then we need to take them back over to the one back the other side. And the train back there. But we've got to do another loop. And unfortunately, I think the track over there is not going to be able to loop. I think that is going to be a small, if not complete, impossibility to get that actual loop to run. So we might have to do a bit of dismantling. And I, I'm, I'm not really quite... I'm, I'm not so keen on that idea. I don't like the idea of having to dismantle everything. So we're going to go out over here. Like this. I want to see if I can land on that track. There we go. Nice. I'm liking this. The reason I want to be on the track is because I actually want to... Um, go back that way. So, let me go up here. And then I get onto this one. And we'll start running back through. Actually, running on the belt, that's as fast as running with uh, without the jetpack. I don't have the jetpack on. If I was to upgrade this to Mark IV, I suspect that we'd go even faster. But I don't think I've got enough materials to do an upgrade at the moment all the way from the very start of this one. That's another thing that we're going to do. We will be upgrading this belt to Mark IV all the way through. But... I'm going to hold off that, because I believe once we unlock that one, uh, over there, there's a, there's a load more stuff that we want to get from there. Once we actually unlock it, as far as I know, we get a Mark V belt. Now, if we've got a Mark V belt, there's, I'm not going to be wanting to mess around with any Mark III belts and, and any Mark IV belts. I would rather... Just take what we've got over this side. Now, we're going to come over to you, and we're going to go in here. Timetable. Invalid. Next stop. Scuvda. You in here. Dodrect Central. Right. Close this window to apply changes. Unable to reach next stop. And that is because it has to keep going in that direction. So I've got to take the train out over here. Now, question. If I stand in front of the train, will it mow me down? Will I meet an untimely demise? I'm not really sure about that. Now I want to go to there. And this one, we want to unload on this one. We've got unload and load. So this one we want to set to unload. And I'd also like to put another um, carriage on here. So this is the bit that I'm curious about. Another freight car can go on there. That's the bit I'm curious about. Is will it stop and unload? Or do I have to have the station all set out beforehand? This is a, an, this, this is a thing of great curiosity for me. And then what I need to do... Is I've actually got that one going up the hill all the way up round like that. I need to try and figure out how we can join this in. I'm I'm thinking that probably the best method here would be to get rid of the scuvda station altogether and we'll do a loop out here somewhere. So we will do a little bit of dismantling. 
Take that one apart, take that one apart, take that one apart, there, and... No. The actual station we've got to dismantle. There. You're out. And then... That one can come out as well. Right. Then, we're going to... I'm thinking the loop does the loop. We actually want to run the loop out this way. I can't go out too much further. I got copper down there, and I'm going to be wanting that. So we'll bring this out a little bit. How far out? Well, that's as far out as I want to go, really. I don't want any more than that. I'll worry about picking the trees underneath us another time. So you come out this way. Yeah, that copper there, we could very well end up needing that copper. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe we won't. Maybe it's not going to be an issue for us. But on the other hand, it's very likely that it will be an issue for us. So, uh, go and take that one out. And then I've accidentally put one down there that should not be. There. We go back to putting the stuff that should be. Like this, and then all we got to do is fill in the gap. Now, this is the bit that's a little bit slow and time-consuming at times. Fill some of these in like this. There. And then all the way back through there like that. Over this way. There. And back there. Right. Quite frankly, I think this is looking good. I think this is looking rather spectacular. We've got a nice big open base here. So now all i got to do is make the station. So this step, we'll put the station down this side. And yeah, we're probably going to want to move the resources by quite a distance from where they come in. But these trains take up a huge amount of space. And that's the difficult bit with them. I wasn't actually expecting them to take up this much space. So that one there, if I bring the station out to... What do you mean I can't... Oh, okay, I've gone and used up all my concrete. All right, fine. Let's go and find some more. I'm sure I've got some more kicking around somewhere. Uh, where... Where have I put concrete? i got some down here. Oh, I know. I've got some over this side, haven't I? And then there's some more in here. It's in that one over there. No, it's not. It's in that one over there. Right in this one. There we go. One, two. That should be enough, I'm hoping. This is the difficult bit with these. It's trying to get through the, the gaps. and Anywhere that there might be a gap. And, and then, like, landing correctly. And also, you can't fly very high, can you? I come down here... Oop, you know, it would help if I refilled. There we go, right. Now, I come down here. I cannot fly up as high as I can jump. I can hurt myself. Apparently, I can hurt myself very easily. So, then if I go on that one, that one fires me up through there. I go a very long way. I, I need to go and get a couple of bits to eat. Um, six or with 12 bear. Have we got 12 nuts? Yeah, I, okay. I, I've got a few of those. I got one or two. Let me just quickly eat. No. Get rid of that one. I want to do that. And I want to quickly eat those. There, like that. Nope. Nope. Take those off like that. And then go here. And then put the barrel. No, where, where are they? Seriously. I was looking at them just... Uh, there. It's all right. It's okay. I was looking at them. I was I was looking right at them, and then they just vanished. They just up and vanished. Disappear completely. It's, this is unacceptable behavior. I, I, don't, I don't think that this is necessary. I feel like I'm being victimized here. Don't want you. I want the train station. So do I want to put the train station this way round, and then it comes out? So that means we've got a loop round in behind it. So I'm going to need to put the train station somewhere like that, I think. So then it's going to loop around behind it, and it's going to come out of there. And it will go railway from here, and we'll go up there, and it'll join onto that bit. 
And then I can take another bit of railway from up there. And I can bring that down. And it's going to go over here like this. Right, that's going to do that. Ah, that's how you do it. That's how you get the joins in it. Okay, well, that's easy enough. And now we're going to go over to here, and we're going to go back in there, and we're going to go to a freight platform. And we just literally, they snap together like that. Now, do I want the freight platform coming out this side? I don't. I want it to come out that side. So we're going to do that. I'm only going to do the one for a minute. I've got lots of space here. I've got enough room for another line of assemblers up through there, which is good. That's what I want. And then I want to go over to here, and I want to get the railway again. And I'm going to bring that one around. This track has got too sharp a turn. It doesn't just do a gentle loop out round for you, does it? It doesn't seem to like doing that. How is that too sharp a turn? That's not too sharp a turn at all. It'll get to there. You're lying to me again. I do despise it when it lies to me. Right. This track doesn't fit together very well, does it? Right? It's, it's not just me, is it? This, this track doesn't actually seem to fit together all that well. I'm, I'm certain that it could be... I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if the track is reworked a little bit. Right? The, the way that this track seems to go there... Right? It's, it's not allowing me to put that in at all. Why is it not allowing me to put that in? I can bring it to there and then I've got to put in another bit. I've, so I've got to keep putting in hundreds and hundreds of little tiny bits which I don't really want to have to do. Uh, I'd rather not. Now I go here and I go electric motive, uh, electric locomotive and which is the front? Well that's got to be the front there. I drop you on there. And then I go freight car. We'll put a couple of these on. Put one onto there. And I put one onto there. And then I go into here. Right, we've got no power. Timetable. Locomotive. It's just saying no power at the moment. So we will produce some power for it. I put that one over to... And there, like that, and that runs into there. E to drive. Configure. Hamburg helped Banhoff. Don't leave any unattended crates on the platform. Locomotive. Insert choo choo name. Do direct central. And then add another one, and you just do that, and it does that. And then close them both like this. Go into here. Right, so why aren't you going anywhere? How do I actually... Oh, right, I press C while I'm looking at it. Power consumption, zero, edit train route. There. And that one, right, well... They're right. If I start it now, is it is it going to go or is it... Well, I, I'm going to drive this one myself a minute and we'll see what happens. See how well it works. Station back there and then we've got a station up here. But I don't think that you could just ride along as a passenger on the train. I don't think this is actually a thing. It's, I'm, I'm going to be a bit disappointed if this is actually a thing. You cannot ride as a passenger on the train uh, just while it goes and does its normal thing. I'd like it very much if we could do that. I really would. I, I would very much appreciate if we could do that. And we come up this little bit of a slope right here. We're still doing 95k. On through doing over a hundred K now and then we come up round this corner here so we do get a beautiful turn of speed on this and in there it should yes it's taken us the right way on this one and now I'm trying to slow down I look behind me there 
That's not worked so well. And then I come out of that way, it's... That should be going right. Oh dear. Uh... Well now what's happened? I've turned round and it's all gone horribly wrong because of that. So I need to go up here and break like that. So it doesn't automatically flip the station when it comes out. That bit at least is good. I like that bit. So then I'll come over to here and I'm going to stop that one. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go on a little bit further just to get it off of the double bit of track right there. And I'm going to stop it a minute. And I'm going to climb out. I'm just going to stand on here. And I can ride on the train. It does let me ride on the train. Of course, the next big question is... Um, well, one question is, can I get all the way across. Can I do this without being hurt? Can I stand on top of the locomotive? That's the next thing. So I want to stand on the locomotive. Right, you've stopped. Is it loading or is it unloading? It's, it's picking something up there. It's bringing that over. It's, bring, it's bringing a load. It's, it's bringing a load over. It's bringing that one out and it's dropping that one down. I don't have another one behind us, so we may only be doing one at a time here. It's going to dump that down there. Press E to drive the locomotive. Oh, I'm not able to look at anything else. I better just stay right where I am or bad things can happen. So I would need another platform on the back of that to make it work. This is juddering an awful lot for me, but it's still going. I'm I'm already braking. The station is coming up and I'm already slowing... Oh, yeah, it is. It's slowing me down. Automatic braking coming on already. Wow. Okay. The, the, the juddering bit is... is a little bit annoying, but um, that, you know, I, I can kind of live with that. And we've only got one platform here to unload with. I mean, this end here, this this would be fine. This, this is not going to cause us a problem. So it comes down there and switches around that way, and then it will stop at the Hamburg station. Go in around there. On a little bit further. It does have to slow down quite a bit before it comes into the station, doesn't it? That's fine. That's, that's, that's not going to make any difference. So you come into here. Like that. And you have stopped. So I'm going to jump over onto that one. And there we've stopped. We've ground to a halt. Why didn't it... Oh, wait, do I need to actually connect it up for it to unload? Why didn't it unload? It should have unloaded! Or did I not... Oh, wait, oh, no, that's got to be, that's, that's got to be unload like that. To get out of the train. I had that set wrong already. So that one's gone off up there to go and do that. If I want two trains loading and unloading, the unloading bit on this side is not going to be a problem. We will easily be able to cope with that. And there I've got some freight platform like that. So I'm just going to bring this one over here. I'm going to go with uh, blah, 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 organization, industrial storage. And I'm going to switch that one round, round like that. And I'm going to put you there like that. That's going to be it. That's all I need to do. 
And then I go number three, and I drop you out there like that. So that's going to unload that bit. That's not going to be a problem. There would be no issue with that whatsoever. I need to get another platform on here. Again, not a problem. I got plenty of room for that. There's, there's no issues with that bit whatsoever. The problem is going to be back the other end. That's going to be where we're going to encounter our issues. Because back at the other end, I don't think I've got enough room to be able to put in another one. I have a very important question. Do trains kill you? If I run along here, is that train going to drive straight into me and squat me? Am, am I going to be like a fly on a windshield? A windscreen, some random car somewhere. Is it going to be a Frithgar shaped splat on the front of this windscreen? This is a, a very important question. Did I ask the deep philosophical questions of life? And I answer the deep philosophical questions of life. I, I, I am the one. Not only do I ask the important questions, but I answer the important questions, such as what happens when you fall off the side of the cliff? What happens when you fall into the abyss? Little things like that. Today, we are answering the question, will I turn into, when you're running along the tracks, quite oblivious to the trains coming in the opposite direction, do you get turned into a... Frithgar shaped splat on a windscreen or not we're about to find out the answer we are you know I probably should have waited back down the other end because um I'm gonna have a long run I'm nervous now I'm nervous it's gonna happen I await my doom okay that was rather underwhelming Apparently, nothing happens whatsoever. Apparently, there is no penalty for this. I can just run along the train track with impudence. I can do it without any qualms whatsoever. There is no repercussions. All I have to do is just stay on the track. The train will just go right through me. I have a teleportation suit. That's what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a magical teleportation suit. And quite frankly, this magical teleportation suit is superiorly awesome. It is amazing. It is wonderful. It is fan dabby doozer, and I, I I recommend that anybody should try one. I, I recommend that everybody should try one. I, I really do. I, I cannot emphasize strongly enough just how wonderful one of these suits is. It is it is absolutely one of the best things you will ever experience. I'm just going to keep trekking. It's a slow old trek. This is. It really is. Can I hear a train coming? No. Train is still is only just pulled into the station down there. So we know that we've got the train running. But how much work are we gonna have now to be able to get in a second platform? Four platforms, that ain't gonna happen. Oh no. Oh no, I do I've I've got enough. I, I thought for a minute I wouldn't have enough concrete, but I do have enough concrete. The, the another platform over here. Is this going to work? Now run through here. And then all I need to do first is I'll remove that. And then the train is probably going to not be able to do anything. Oh, go in there. And we've got a couple of stacks in there. We haven't got a lot. We've got a couple of stacks. It's going to take... Probably going to take them a while to get everything in there. So... Yeah, I'm actually thinking, to be honest, we don't need another um, platform on here. I don't think it's going to make any difference at all. So, why would I do it? It just seems like complete and total madness to just go and start messing around with this. Let's, let's just see what happens a minute. Freight platform on here. Right. There. Snaps onto there, like that. I've got the... Train track is coming out there. I need to be able to get said train track off through here. So I'm going to cut that one out there. And then I want to go there like that. I want to bring it in. So it's uh, too sharp a turn to come out of there. So I'll do it from this end. Too sharp a turn. I bring it to there. That's too sharp a turn. 
Have I got another bit up here that I can go to? There it is. I can put it into there. Right, so I, that does fit. I've got a second platform in there. Which means I can then remove that one. That's all out. And uh, that is all in there in place. And yes, it's clipping into the ground. I don't like that it clips into the ground. But quite frankly, I'm prepared to live with that. And... Now that I've connected it back up again, the train is on its way back over again. So we're going to go over like this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that belt up there. And instead, I'm going to take that belt from here. And it's going to go right in there in the bottom. Remove those leaves. So now I've got two of these running. There, just like that. Again, this is this is this is more good stuff. And there comes the train. Now this this time the train should come in. And it should go on round the outside. There. Excellent. And then it should come into this side, and we should have two trains load up. It takes a little bit of time for it to come in through. It can go through the poisonous gas without any problems. And it is unloading at the other end as well. It did that properly. So that's another bit that I really like. Now, do I ride on top of this one or do I drive it myself? I'm a little bit madder when I drive it myself. But I've got a, I've got, I've got a plan for it this time. So you're going to go do direct, a door direct central in there. I'm going to jump in. That one's loading up. Docking right now. And then both of those come over. Place them sideways like that, and then down there, drop them down to the back of those um, carriages. So I've now got two at this end. I don't have two at the other end, but that's a very, very simple process. So I'm going to do. I'm, I'm doing this at the moment. It doesn't automatically drive because I'm sat inside the train, so I got to do this myself. I got to press the button and do this. That's all right. We're going fast. We're not going to worry about brakes. Wait, a brake's a different move. I see those bits coming up, but I'm sure that they... I'm sure they did a bit more. Let, let me have a look a minute. Oh, no, no, no. I said stop. Vehicle handbrake is actually spacebar. Right, let me... Uh, I'm going to go on a little bit further. So we got the vehicle handbrake is spacebar. I'll go on a little bit further and we'll get up a bit of speed and then we'll start going down this hill and we'll see what the difference is between two brakes. I got that one there, I'm just pressing backwards. Handbrake is altogether different. The handbrake is altogether different. But honestly, we're not after the handbrake. We're not, we're not after any of them. But yeah, you, you press the handbrake and everything locks up. Because you just go backwards, it just slows you down a little bit. It does use the brakes, but it just slows you down. Press the space bar, and that throws on the handbrake. And that's a, that is an entirely different kettle of fish. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to come down to here, and then I'm going to jump out like that. And I'm going to see if it can cope with it. Nope. That's just gone right on past. So what's it going to do now? Is, is it going to go to the next station? It went sailing through there without any problems whatsoever. I mean, that was that was not going to stop. And if I have a look on here, the time. And there we have it, folks. I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop things now because we have run out of time. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.